All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, those of you that have been with us over the past week, first at the commercial vehicle event last week in the Fusion preview yesterday, you've been progressing my cold and throat uh, with me for the past a week or so. So today I'm going to actually have the water right with me. So I'd like to uh, welcome all of you today, especially taking your time to get here on such an awful morning, but it could have been snow. I think it was snow last year, actually. And actually, there's no better place to talk about fuel efficiency and electrification than to do it here at our Michigan Assembly Plant, where it all comes together for our customer. As many of you know, we have a unique approach to fuel efficiency leadership. And it's based on a roadmap that we shared four years ago, our blueprint for sustainability. And rather than focusing on any one solution to greener driving, our aim is to make the biggest possible difference on emissions and fuel, fossil fuels over a 20-year period using a variety of technology solutions. The goal is to focus, focus on affordable, sustainable technology solutions, not for hundreds or thousands of vehicles, but for millions of customers. Ultimately, this is what drives us to provide our customers what we call the power of choice, a wide variety of efficient vehicles to meet their different needs. Key to our plan is a full lineup of efficient gasoline engines and electrified powertrains, along with fuel-saving technologies such as electric power-assisted steering, dual-clutch and six-speed transmissions, flex fuel, battery management, and aero improvements. Customers are already enjoying the results of our efforts. In fact, customers rate six of our vehicles highest for fuel economy in the 11 segments in which we compete according to the J.D. Powers 2011 Automotive Performance, Execution and Layout, or their Appeal Study. The next closest full-line competitor has only two segment winners. And I'm pleased to announce that by the end of 2012, nearly one-third of our vehicle lines will offer a model of 40 miles per gallon or more. This includes several vehicles that haven't been announced as yet. This impressive fuel efficient fleet will be headlined by an unprecedented wave of electrified vehicles next year. And we're not stopping there. We'll continue to expand the availability of our EcoBoost engines. Our global EcoBoost family ranges from the new one liter three cylinder EcoBoost, will launch here in North America in the near future through our 1.6 liter and two liter EcoBoost four cylinder engines to our popular 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost. All of these engines provide a fuel economy improvement of up to 20% and a reduction in CO2 emissions of up to 15%. But that's not all they do. Our new Focus ST with its 250 horsepower, two liter EcoBoost is here, right there to the right. As not a su not so subtle reminder that EcoBoost is as much about performance as it is about fuel economy. Now by 2013, we expect to offer EcoBoost in 90% of our vehicles in North America and 80% of our vehicles globally. Our electrification plans are also gaining momentum based on our commitment to an unprecedented wave of new electrified vehicles in North America by the end of 2012. And we will triple production capacity of electrified vehicles to 100,000 units by 2013. It all started with Ford Transit Connect Electric, which has been in customers' hands since last year. Plus, we are pleased to announce the Focus Electric has started production right here at MAP. And we're also pleased to announce today that we expect the Focus Electric will be the first all electric vehicle to achieve a fuel economy equivalent of more than 100 miles per gallon equivalent, while still offering space for five passengers. Now, some of you may be wondering what mile per gallon equivalent means, or MPGE. This rating was developed by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to compare energy consumption of alternative fuel vehicles like Focus Electric. It is based on how much gasoline and how much electricity would be used to generate an equal amount of energy. The EPA considers 33 kilowatt hours to be equal to one gallon of gasoline. In addition to MPGE, electrified vehicle customers are also keenly interested in driving range. 
Take a look at the display next to the CMAX Energy. The monitor is tracking the charge levels over the typical course of a typical busy day, representing driving and recharging throughout the day. As you'll see, a focus electric driver can more than double the driving range of today's electric vehicle ratings during a busy day of driving and also recharging. We'll update you at lunch how much this driver got done in the course of just one day. You'll also hear more today about our first compact multi-electric multi-activity vehicles, or MAVs, here in North America. The CMAX Hybrid and the new CMAX Plug-in Hybrid. These vehicles will reach new levels of hybrid performance with next generation lithium ion batteries. As our first multi-activity vehicles and our first dedicated range of hybrids, some have said CMAX is the first true competitor for the Prius. Indeed, we expect the CMAX hybrid to achieve better fuel economy than the Prius V. We're also pleased to introduce our first plug-in hybrid vehicle, the CMAX Energy, which we expect will have better fuel economy equivalents than the Prius plug-in while in electric mode. CMAX Energy will also achieve more than 500 miles of overall driving range using the battery and engine more than the Chevy Volt. In fact, we expect to have about 500 patents for electrified vehicle technologies as we move into this unprecedented launch period. These vehicles headline what we believe will be a banner year for Ford as we expand our fuel economy leadership even further. We said it before, fuel economy is the battleground for true automotive leadership this decade and probably beyond. The automaker with the best fuel efficiency will achieve better brand value and ultimately more value to customers who will invest in reducing their fuel consumption. We're also working to make the conversion to an electrified lifestyle easier and more affordable by forging relationships with high-tech partners such as Best Buy's Geek Squad and Sun Power and creating useful tools such as our My Ford mobile app. Plus, we're expanding the definition of a green vehicle beyond just fuel efficiency. Because as Americans are prioritizing fuel economy, they also are going green in large numbers by recycling. The Roper Consulting Group, which commissions the longest running study on consumer green behaviors, says about 70% of Americans recycle, even though only about a quarter of them say they believe they can have a big impact on the environment. We think the Focus Electric will strike a particular chord with the public because it is the first car ever to offer interior materials that are 100% clean technology and recycled content. This includes our first application of plastic water bottles in the seat fabric. So for the first time ever at a Ford event, we'll be collecting your used bottles, recycling them, and putting them into a future Focus Electric. Our partners from Unify are here to tell you about their innovative Reprieve technology that is going not only into our cars, but also in some of the jackets you're wearing today and a growing number of consumer products. More broadly, we are targeting all of our vehicles to achieve at least 25% use of clean technology in interior materials as we work to make our vehicles even greener from bumper to bumper. We know that electrified vehicle safety is on many people's minds at the moment, so I'd like to address it. First, it's important to say we still have little information about the cause of the issues Chevy has experienced with the Volt in government crash test, so it's difficult to comment specifically on how they relate to Ford's electrification program. The Focus Electric is built from the solid foundation of the gas-powered model that has earned top safety ratings around the world, including a top safety pick rating from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The car's solid structure includes advanced high strength steels in more than 50% of the safety cage. As for the battery, which is on display next to the Focus Electric, we in Ford engineered the battery pack 
and took many extra steps to ensure high levels of safety. We built on two decades of experience building safe and reliable battery electric technologies for our hybrids and other battery electric projects. The battery case itself is protected by a strong steel casing that helps provide additional protection beyond the car's overall safety structure. We achieved our goal of not experiencing damage to any battery cells in our stringent crash testing regimen. Our experts are here to tell you more about battery safety and all of our other efforts to make electrified vehicles safety safer and more user friendly. So Ford continues to go green. More broadly, we are proud, proud to be leading an industry that is enjoying an increasing reputation for green behavior. According to Roper, 50% of Americans in 2010 said they believe the auto industry is taking steps to protect the environment, compared to 31% in 2007. We believe this could be because Americans are seeing more green cars and green factories, such as this plant with its solar power energy or the Dearborn truck plant with its first of its kind living roof. It's a start. And here to tell you more about how we're building the most efficient vehicles in an efficient and more sustainable way, please welcome my manufacturing partner, Executive Vice President, Global Manufacturing and Labor Affairs, John Fleming. John? Thank Thanks, Derek. Thank you, Derek. Good morning to everybody. Welcome to our wonderful Michigan assembly plant. I've got to tell you, we're really proud to showcase our Michigan assembly plant today, which is a model for flexible manufacturing. Thanks to our global product development and global manufacturing under one Ford, our positive UAW partnership, and flexible plants like this one, we can now make high quality, small cars profitably. And as I think you'll see today, our electrified vehicles also are benefiting from our global plan. Plants like the Michigan Assembly Plant help us to adjust rapidly to changing consumer demands and provide attainable, high quality, real world electrified vehicle choices for customers in the center of the market, which is where it counts most. There's no doubt that Michigan Assembly Plant has a strong future ahead of it. We've already begun building the Focus Electric, just the first of three electrified vehicles that we'll build here in this plant. What's more exciting is that when CMAX Hybrid and CMAX Energy go into production here in Michigan Assembly Plant, we'll be the first plant in the world to have an integrated build with three electrified production models assembled on the same line as the fuel efficient gas powered vehicles in this case, the Ford Focus. Now, here's another significant number. Michigan Assembly Plant is the only plant that will be responsible for installing in vehicles five different powertrains, two gas engines, a hybrid motor, a plug-in hybrid motor, and a battery electric motor, all on the same line. And our Michigan Assembly Plant team can do all this while also readily adjusting production and production mix based on the market demand. We've also reduced complexity, helping drive high quality products which will be built together on the same line by the same teams using similar tools and the same quality checks. Plus each station is ready to assemble any type of vehicle that comes their way. And because we're electrifying platforms and not building one-off speciality vehicles, we can manage the, to assemble cars affordably and with the same exacting quality measures as the traditional gasoline-powered models rolling down the same line. Now, the Ford Focus launch, more than any other so far, has been a shining example of our one Ford in action, of leveraging our global assets and becoming one team with one plan and one goal. Ford was the first product, sorry, Focus was the first product under one Ford to be fully engineered, designed and sourced and manufactured globally. 
Within manufacturing, this meant coming together with all of our global partners and doing things differently by use of collaborative methods, such as virtual tools. It required a different approach to the implementation of new processes. It required increased communication amongst teams, and it required a different approach to problem solving. Now, this is a whole new view of manufacturing before this plant had even installed its first piece of new equipment. Two years ago, product development and manufacturing teams in North America, in Europe, and in Asia came together using this virtual technology to build this car piece by piece, operation by operation. This technology and our use of other virtual tools helped to guide and shape the transformation of Michigan assembly plant. Fully understanding how each part would be assembled gave us a roadmap for installing equipment and tooling in a way that would give our workforce the best opportunity of success, which ultimately translates into maximized efficiency for the plant and consistently high quality for our focused customers. Today, we can efficiently and affordably build electric vehicles such as the Focus Electric on the same line for all of the same reasons. Plus, the manufacturing process we're using here is the same process the teams have begun using in Saar Louis to prepare to build the Focus Electric for European customers. So Michigan Assembly Plants is really the one Ford model for how we build electric vehicles anywhere in the world. Now, as Derek mentioned, the greening of Ford goes deeper than fuel efficiency. Ford's committed to delivering clean technology from bumper to bumper in all of our cars and from start to finish in our manufacturing facilities. The Michigan assembly plant features one of the largest solar powered generation systems in the state, allowing the facility to operate on a blend of renewable and conventional electricity. Excess solar energy is stored to provide power when there isn't enough direct sunlight, saving Ford approximately $160,000 per year in energy costs. We also have 10 electric vehicle charging stations right here, which recharge a fleet of electric trucks that transport parts between adjacent facilities, saving about 86,000 gallons of gas per year. Even the three wet paint application process that we use in the plant offers many benefits without compromising paint quality. It uses less natural gas, less electricity, and saves up to 8,000 metric tons of CO2 emissions per year compared to other painting methods. Finally, Michigan Assembly Plant recycles nearly everything possible from the water bottles our employees use to the cardboard bubble wrap and styrofoam that our parts arrive in. Of course, Michigan Assembly Plant isn't the only impressive facility that's making a big difference here in Michigan. We have even more news to share with you about our Van Dyke transmission plant, which will soon become the largest producer of hybrid transmissions in North America. As part of our ongoing effort to insource jobs directly from suppliers, including those outside the United States, and bring more technology jobs here to Michigan. Our Van Dyke facility serves as the central producer of transmissions for our current lineup of hybrid vehicles globally. This builds on our plans for the Rawsonville plant in Ypsilanti, where lithium ion battery packs will be assembled for the CBRAX uh, hybrid and the CMAX energy, bringing jobs back to Ford from a supplier in Mexico. Put Michigan Assembly, Van Dyke and Rawsonville together, and it's easy to see that Ford is making good on its promise to transform Michigan into a center of excellence for vehicle electrification. So it's great to have you with us today. We're really pleased that you can see an important part of this center of excellence for yourselves today. Now we'd like to welcome you to come up, take a closer look at the vehicles and the technology, and talk to the experts that we hear we have here today. Thank you very much for being with us. It's really nice to be able to share this exciting time with all of you. Thank you.